Scholars, explorers, and even amateur divers and teenagers have rediscovered ancient cities that had been hidden for so long they were just legends. Here are six lost cities that were lost and found again, and some we didn't even know were lost to begin with. Number 6. Troy The legend of the Trojan War is one of the most powerful stories from ancient Greek literature and forms the basis of Homer's The Iliad. Most of us have also probably seen the movie. Ancient Troy commanded a strategic point at the southern entrance to the Dardanelles, a narrow strait linking the Black Sea with the Aegean Sea. The approximate location of Troy was mentioned in several works by ancient Greek and Latin authors, but was lost for hundreds of years until in the 1800s when scholars Charles McLaren and Frank Calver were able to persuade German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann to excavate a mysterious mound known as Hisarlik. Everyone else had ignored McLaren and Calvert, claiming that the legend of Troy was just a story based on myth, not history. Of course, Schliemann took full credit for the discovery once he began uncovering the ancient city. Life lessons, guys. Always trust your instinct and don't let other people take credit for your hard work. The actual site where the city of Troy was located has about nine different layers of settlements, towns, and cities that could have been the Troy led by King Priam whose son Paris ran away with Helen, wife of Menelaus, king of Sparta. The first and oldest layer dates back to the early Bronze Age, around 2000 BC. Later versions of Troy were destroyed by fire and others by earthquake and war. Then it was abandoned and forgotten until the legend became truth. Number 5. Pompeii when Pompeii was destroyed by Mount Vesuvius, the city was buried under layers of volcanic rock and ash, frozen in time until its rediscovery and exploration in the 18th century. Pompeii had a population of between 10,000 to 20,000 people and was famous for its excellent farmland. One of the ironies of volcanoes is that they tend to lure people in because they produce very fertile soil. In the towns below it, most people would not have known that Vesuvius was a volcano or that a Bronze Age settlement in the area had already been annihilated almost 2,000 years before. Vesuvius is actually inside the exploded skeleton of an older volcano. If you look at an aerial photograph, you can see the remaining ridge of a much larger volcano on the north side. Around 2,000 people were killed in Pompeii from a cloud of scorching gases and thousands of tons of rock and ash that rained down over the city. The powdery ash that buried everyone was so fine that you can even see people's eyelids preserved like a plaster cast. The Emperor Titus declared Pompeii an emergency zone and offered financial assistance for cleanup and recovery, but the buried towns were beyond salvaging. Eventually, Pompeii Pompeii and Herculaneum were taken off local maps and forgotten for hundreds of years. Within a few centuries, settlers had repopulated the empty terrain, unconcerned with what lay below. The African plate, on which most of the Mediterranean Sea rests, is actually diving beneath the European plate. Under pressure underground, the gases stay dissolved. When the magma rises to the surface, it compresses, causing volcanoes to explode. To this day, Vesuvius remains one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Some 3.5 million Italians live in its shadow and about 2 million tourists visit the ruins each year. Although monitoring devices are in place, if there is a major eruption with little warning and if the winds are blowing towards Naples, there could be another major disaster. Number 4. Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro The discovery of the Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, in what is now Pakistan was first recorded in the 1800s by the British. The locals also knew about it before then, obviously, but there was no widespread archaeological excavation until the 1920s. This mysterious culture emerged nearly 4,500 years ago and thrived for a thousand years, profiting from the highly fertile lands of the Indus River floodplain and trade with the civilizations of nearby Mesopotamia. It remains mysterious because scholars have still not been able to decipher the language and instead have to guess at their daily life based on the objects that have been found. Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa were highly advanced cities of their time with remarkably sophisticated civil engineering and urban planning reaching their golden age between 2600 to 1900 BC. Harappa had a level of architectural planning that was unparalleled in the ancient world. The city had many drinking water wells and a highly sophisticated system of waste removal. All Harappan houses had latrines, bathing houses, and sewage drains. They were abandoned in the 19th century BC as the Indus Valley civilization declined and the Indus River possibly flooded the city or there was a severe drought. Mohenjo-Daro means the Hill of the Dead or the Mound of the Dead in Sindhi. According to archaeologists, its ancient name was Kukuta 
Tarma, meaning cockerel city, which may indicate that this is where the chicken was domesticated. The ruins of the city remained undocumented for around 3,700 years. Pakistani officials are struggling to maintain the sites and they may soon be lost forever due to the salt content of the groundwater that is eating away at the ancient bricks. The attempts at preserving the site have only accelerated the damage and there is not much tourism to support it. Number 3. Palenque the Maya ruins of Palenque were lost and then found again in the jungles of eastern Mexico. Deep within the Temple of the Inscriptions, shown here, is an ornate, vaulted chamber containing the crypt of the ruler Pakal. The first published account of this city was in 1567 by a Spanish priest who came across the stone temples and plazas that had been abandoned by the Maya. Palenque is now one of the most visited archaeological sites in Mexico, not for its size or age, but for its creative design and amount of inscriptions. Research have been able to get some of the most detailed information about Mayan culture from this temple. After being attacked by other Mayan city-states and sacked, people started leaving Palenque after the year 800 and it was swallowed by the jungle by the time the Spanish arrived in Chiapas in the 16th century. As a side note, 15-year-old Canadian teen William Godori claims to have discovered a lost Mayan city without even leaving his house based on his theory that their ancient cities were aligned with constellations. He was able to align over a hundred cities to maps of constellations and realized that one seemed to be missing its core corresponding city. Archaeologists have dismissed his conclusions, but he is raising money to go on an expedition in search of his city that he has already named Kak Chi, or Mouth of Fire. Maya archaeologist and National Geographic grantee Francisco Estrada Bey has also invited him to go exploring. Number 2. Petra Carved directly into the sandstone cliff faces, the prehistoric city of Petra in Jordan was lost to the Western world for hundreds of years. Hidden in the desert canyons, Petra was a once thriving trading center and the capital of the Nabataean Empire between 400 BC and 106 AD. The Nabataeans, before they were conquered and absorbed into the Roman Empire in 106 AD, controlled a vast tract of the Middle East from modern-day Israel and Jordan into the northern Arabian Peninsula. The Nabataeans were also known for their ability to construct efficient water-collecting methods in the barren desert and their talent for carving structures into solid rocks. Once they were conquered by the Romans, the city started to decline and sat empty and in near ruin for centuries. Only in the early 1800s did a European explorer share the secret of Petra with the Western world. Several scenes from the Hollywood blockbuster Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade were filmed in Petra, and no, the treasury in Petra is not the one in the movie. A giant urn carved above the entrance to the treasury, the real treasury, is marked with hundreds of gunshots. Men would open fire with rifles, trying to break open the urn, which is actually made of solid stone. In 1985, the Petra Archaeological Park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and in 2007, it was named one of the new seven wonders of the world. For more videos like these, be sure to subscribe! Number 1. Angkor Wat Built roughly between 1,113 and 1,150 and encompassing an area of about 500 acres, Angkor Wat is one of the largest religious monuments ever constructed. Located in Cambodia, its name means Temple City and has hundreds of temples. Its layout recreates the image of Mount Meru, a legendary place in Hindu mythology that is said to lie beyond the Himalayas and be the home of the gods. Building Angkor Wat was an enormous undertaking that involved quarrying, careful artistic work, and lots of digging. It is surrounded by a moat that helps stabilize the temple's foundation and controls the water levels. Angkor Wat was built by King Suryavarman II, in case anyone asks you, who came to power as a teenager after killing his great uncle while riding an elephant. Back in the 1860s, Angkor Wat was virtually unheard of beyond local monks and villagers. The notion that this great temple was once surrounded by a city of nearly a million people was entirely unknown. It has taken over a hundred years to uncover Angkor street by street through the dense jungle and Civil War landmines. More recently, an archaeological team used LIDAR, light detection and ranging, a remote sensing technology that uses laser beams to record variations on the surface of the land. They had discovered even more temples, highways, and waterways spreading across the jungle landscape. They had found an even older lost city, Mahendra Parvata, that no one was even looking for. It had been buried in the jungle for over a thousand years. Did you know that the Earth has a heartbeat? For more, click on the left. 
To find out where you can visit this creepy doll, click on your right. Be sure to subscribe and see you next time.